Hello everybody and welcome to Penfold Plays Europa Universals 4. Uh, this is episode 7, I believe. Yep, yeah, I'm sure it's episode 7. Good. That's a good start. We, we now know what episode we're on. This is episode 7. Um, if you joined us last, we had a dynasty war against Orleans where I thought we would inherit their territory. Turns out not that we wouldn't, or we didn't. Um, so instead we ended up just battering their army along with their allies, and uh, now they're less of a military threat. However, that said, uh, we're going to go to war with them after our peace time has expired, but we're going to go for the territories along here, maybe into Maine, here, yeah, and draw, murdering these, these provinces' names. Anyway, we're going to go to war with Normandy, depending on how their war here goes with Lancaster and then we're thinking about going to war here for Cornwall in fact so much so I'm going to get a claim on it right now wrong covert actions fabricate claim on Cornwall and uh, you know we're gonna go to war with them regardless uh, got transports here we got one transport we need more And this is the beauty of having ports. Even if we just get two people on their county, uh, you know, we can just ferry people over at a slow rate. So anyway, we have a free diplomat. What should we do? <coughs> oh, I'm determined to get my relations here up with these dudes. They border me. I'm slightly concerned that they could go to war with me. So we'll improve some relations, hopefully. They're on the Regency Council though, which is great for us, because it means they won't declare war. At least for another two years. Uh, so, uh, yep. Just have a quick look at what else is happening into the world. Uh, peasant revolt by the looks of it. Uh, no. Nationalists. The Ottomans are having a problem. Although they are starting to expand again. And here we go. Here we go. Realm Unification. If it's Denmark's wish to annex this vessel. So what are Denmark doing? <laughs> Don't really know what Denmark's doing, but... Anyway, back to this. we got some nationalists in the Ottoman Empire. It's slowly expanding. Jerusalem's gone. Jerusalem is now fully conquest by the Hejaz. Uh, Iraq's quite big. <coughs> Syria's still there. Latin Empire, they're still around. They're rivals with the Ottomans now. The Ukraine's starting to blob. The Crimea is obviously continuing to blob out of control. And uh, you know what? The countries that seem unaffected are Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Pretty much <laughs> exactly how they are in the actual game, except for uh, well, obviously Denmark's invaded a bit. Anyway, back to France. Back to France, indeed. I want this province. Have we got a claim on it? Can we just go to war? Normandy should really be looking at mine, of course. Guaranteeing the People, states, independence. Form government. Yep. We have con conquest Casas Belli on Normandy. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, also another thing we changed was our uh, people in the people state. This guy, obviously we've got a huge amount of support for this dude, but he is 63. I'd rather get the young one now. Uh... Just to see what, just to see if we can control the courier. But in, in the meantime, who are Luxembourg allied with? Burgundy and Cologne. And we have new independence. The, the uh, peasant revolt succeed, succeeded. Well, the nationalists succeeded, and the Ottomans' empire is cut a little bit. Naples seems to be doing very well <coughs> as well. 
Alrighty, we continue onwards. So, what are we looking at? We were looking at Luxembourg. Brittany broke their alliance with us. Brittany, why? Why are you hostile towards us? What? What? You are not rivals to any of us? Perhaps if we, if we set... Yeah, we've set Orleans as rival. I believe. Yeah, Orleans is our rival. We should probably make Normandy a rival as well. Since they're not going to be there much longer. Normandy, 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 Normandy. So many countries. There we go. Alright. And there we go. We are close. Because if I'm right, and I'm hoping, Lancaster takes that. Game 5, Prestige, Improve the Capital, Spend the Money. Don't really need so much manpower. So now, let's take a look at our loans quickly. Let's leave the game running. We are earning 5.12 ducats a month. That's going to change now because I am increasing our military. Uh, how many loans do we have? Three. Brittany has insulted us. Why, Brittany, why? Lancaster determined to end this war. Um, but they have their war target. Maybe it's the best time to go to war now. Let's get a uh, let's get a diplomat back from Berry. Maybe it is the best time to go to war because we will. There we go. They are allied with Berry. No one will join us in this war. Yep, no one seems to really care. We are at war. Barry joined against us. They have seven troops. <laughs> Wipe them out. Quite quickly. Barry can't cross our territory though. So, maybe, just maybe, we're going to succeed here. Anyway, at least I hope Barry can't cross our territory. Well, they're on a Regency Council as well, so they ain't going to be declaring war. Do they... they have... Mm, so they haven't given any military access. Orleans hasn't. That's good. Keep investing in this dude. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll pass Liege. Um, we have new vessels here, that's good. New vessels are excellent. So we take their capital. We've already knocked out some of their troops. Berries. <coughs> yes, well, one extra line closer to uh, not having any debt, which is brilliant. Um, tempted. They still like us. We're at war, but they still like us. Cornwall. We have our cas Casus Belly against Cornwall. That is good. Probably go to war immediately after. Why I'm going to build another cog. No, we need 12 to build. That's unfortunate. Well, it isn't, because maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You never know. Things could go terribly here in Normandy, and, uh, you know, we could be in two wars and end up losing all our territory. Let's take this one step at a time. We're only 20 in game years done. You know, nothing too strenuous. Might get Brittany eventually. You know what, this might just end up being the uh, aggression, the, Fr the French ag uh, aggressive war conquest of everything. Uh, I know I did say I'll try to want to do it diplomatically. Ooh, new admin tech. What do we get here first? We get a constable, which is good for tax modifiers and tax income. Yes, we will accept that. And then hopefully we'll have a new, enough admin power to... Uh, get everything. Uh, where's Berry going? That's the question. Berry? Where are Berry? Concern now. Are they still in their territory there? It's a, it's a concern of mine because... So there's some rebels there. I don't want them coming up and attacking me behind my back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Can we build some cogs? Yes, we can. We will build more cogs. Cogs are important to my war effort. We're literally just waiting now. Is there anything else we can do? What about stability? We're okay. War exhaustion is going up by 0.2. That's going to really bother me at all. Uh, getting 0.2 ducats a month. Ouch. But that could be because our ports are blocked. Or maybe we're just doing terribly there. Either way, we'll gain more territory. Perhaps we can hire an advisor now. No, we can't aff Well, we can afford them per month. But yes, we can. It's just a question of uh, getting the right amount of money. But we only have... I don't want to do that until we've paid off our last two loans. And there we go. It is done. And... Take all your money. We'll send it. War done! We gained five prestige. Normandy is now only in London. We don't have enough admin power to core. But we did complete a mission. Vassalize Brittany. Is that even possible? They are hostile against us, so they will never. <laughs> uh, they would never accept vassalization. Hostile attitude towards France. Well, I'm sorry. So, that mission is out of the question. Spread our culture to Alma. Alma. Oh, hold on here, folks. Just trying to see where. Calais, yeah. We're going to do this one. 125 diplomatic points. Let's convert. But now you can see France is now pretty much all of northern France. And yes, Brittany, why are you being a douchebag? Can't really go to war with me. Alliance from Berry? Yes, we'll accept you. Thank you. I don't mind like nations like Berry and stuff and Britain to a certain extent. They broke our alliances, you know, if they're gonna offer them back, we've already got royal marriages, so I don't really see <coughs> the point of um not accepting their alliance. It's not gonna harm us diplomatic power. I mean yeah, we got one more. And there we go, Normandy's gone. Normandy is gone. How many troops do Cornwall have? At least in the surrounding area. Because if I can get them at the right time, Cornwall, zero. So as soon as we land on their capital, I'm tempted to go to war now. Can. I want perhaps one more. Um, cog. Put them here. And then we'll go to war. We should have time to claim it. I mean, the, my big worry is I've never done uh, a invasion onto another continent and then had, like, say, if Lancaster declared, declared war on me, would I have enough time to get troops across? What can we do here? Formalize scales, weights, and measures. Do, do, do. Hmm. What do we get out of it? We'll wait. We'll wait until we started, uh... Oh no! Wait, no. Sorry, forget about that. Uh, we'll wait until, uh, we've started the coring process of Normandy. Um... Only because I see that as a more important thing, because obviously, if we look here... National Revolt Risk is 7.7. .7. Tempted to stomp it out as well, but, uh, what have we got here? An alliance from these guys... Are we already... Do we have a royal marriage with you? Yes, we do. So yes, we'll accept. We're definitely going to get Brittany. Brittany are allied with Spain. I don't think Spain are in any position to help them at the same problem either. So I'm going to... Um, of course, it would cost us the ability to go to war with them, but... We can do some constructions now. How much do these cost? 51 gold. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, let's pay off our last two lines. 
There we go. Let's get our fleet maintenance up to there. Let's uh, cruise you guys down here because we're about to go to war. War is forever good for business. Let's fuse these together. Let's just for this guy a bit more. Let's attach the transport. This is. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to play out. Hopefully, it'll play out fantastically. Hopefully, our troops got transport. Okay. They are allied with these guys. Which is good. Cool, willing allies. Barry will join us. That's good enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How, when will we get there? 24th. Uh, cool, we won. We won again. 24th. It's a tough one. Will we get there before they've raised troops? When are our troops getting there? The 2nd of December now. But we got there. Brilliant. We'll let them go. Send our ships back to her thing. So, Barry joined us, which is good because we needed their help with their fleet. We are now sieging. We got our troops back, which is brilliant. Also, we can call this, which is fantastic. Um, sort of ironic. Popping down to Cornwall in a few days, as it is. Do some filming. Uh, I'm a filmmaker. Just graduated from uni and do all the filming. Shaznik got my own camera and stuff. It's uh, it's good fun. <laughs> but uh, back to the back to this. Uh, so recording that, which is good. Um, shall I spend military power? It will get rid of national revolt. Which, how long will you take? You'll be done quite quick. Should probably let that save up. We're already positive 11 war score. As soon as we take that, that'd be like 100. Maybe. And that's where Cornwall went from high, low war enthusiasm to high. Well, you know what I'm going for. I love my stability. Stability gives us everything I need, and because of that, I'm also going to get this, and now, that was our first decision made, brilliant. And also, for the first time, there is our first advisor. There we go, there we go, we finally have our first advisor, and that seems like a pretty good way to end the episode. We've got our first advisor, we're invading Cornwall, we've beaten Normandy, we're growing, we're thinking about Brittany next. Great start, I like to think. On a game that I'm not, which I'm, which I say I'm not particularly good at, but I'm all particularly, I'm all right, I guess. We've got good allies, and I think we can, you know, even if we're dragged into a big war, we might hold our own. All right, I'm Penfold. Uh, join us for episode eight. There we go, episode eight. So many of these I'm doing. Join us for episode eight of uh, Penfold plays European of Success Four. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.